I'm Chris Amaday, and I am the Director of Research for the Mel Nadi Brain Tumor Institute here at Northwestern. My role is uh, developing clinical trials, moving the science forward, and also assuring implementation. The clinical trial is designed to provide evidence that a treatment is either more safe or more effective or more cost effective in treating a particular disease or problem. One of the uh, really exciting things that we do here at the MBTI in Northwestern is we have a regular interaction between our people doing bench and lab research and the clinicians that are delivering care. We meet on a regular basis. We talk about um, how to best bring work that's being done in the lab, how to transition that into a clinical trial, and then where that clinical trial can go in terms of enhancing clinical care. And that's very unique. I have not encountered that anywhere um, but here. The Institutional Review Board is an independent body affiliated with an institution that actually assures that we're carrying out research in a very ethical manner. That anyone who is involved in a clinical trial as a patient, that those individuals are protected. I think it's important to start from a perspective of looking at clinical trials as a component of care, not something separate from care. Clinical trials allow us to learn from each patient we treat while we can offer the patient the most innovative treatment available. Almost every product that is available for cancer treatment today is the result of well-conducted clinical trials. I think that individuals, uh, especially that have any kind of cancer, have a concern about being experimented on. They don't want to have that feeling of, of being what some people might know of as a guinea pig. So in order to understand really what clinical trials are, you have to get some background information. One of the more important things is for most cancers, we have established treatment. And when we develop a clinical trial option, we build upon that treatment. We don't make them miss that treatment. And that's what really removes that experimentation piece. Another thing is, is that clinical trials have a lot of rules and requirements. Those rules and requirements are designed to do two things. They're designed to keep a person safe and they're designed to develop a truly beneficial therapy that can be tested over time. For a drug trial, uh, there are phases usually zero, one, two, three, four, and up to five. More commonly, uh, clinical trials for a drug are in phase one, two, and three. Phase one is tolerability, typically. Phase two is geared toward safety and early signal toward maybe being a benefit. Phase three, there's usually a placebo of some sort or comparison to standard of care with or without the actual study drug. What motivates me to keep pushing forward is the ability to really make a difference at the end of the day. And I am always honored to be part of a patient's care as they go through this journey that's very challenging.